other breaking news right now. Any moment, we're going to get an update from police about a Colorado Amber Alert. You probably got that alert on your phone this afternoon. One-year-old Zahid Adams and his mother, 26-year-old Samantha Adams, were abducted at gunpoint this morning from Commerce City, police say, by her ex-boyfriend. 22 year old Mauricio Venzer Gonzalez. Now, as we wait for a live briefing to begin, I want to go now to Liz Gilardi. She is live in Commerce City. Um, Liz, this stretches right now all the way down to Pueblo. As Shannon, it does. It stretches down to Pueblo where they recovered that car uh, this afternoon. And we know that this is where police actually found, um, this is where police actually uh, say the they were abducted at gunpoint, but we're getting word right now, actually, that they've just started that press yeah, conference. We're going to go to that now. now. By the name of Mauricio Venzer Gonzalez, date of birth 10-3-94, took his girl, ex-girlfriend, Samantha Adams, and their one-year-old son, Zayden Adams, from the residence at gunpoint. At 3.45 p.m., the vehicle involved was recovered in the city of Pueblo behind the St. Mary Corwin Medical Center. At this time, there are multiple agencies canvassing the area looking for Mauricio, Samantha, and Zayden. We are asking for the public's help in locating the suspect and the victims involved. Any information, please contact the Adams County Sheriff's Record Division. That number is 303-322-1313. Again, that's 303-322-1313. We do have reason to believe that Mauricio is still armed with a gun and is considered to be dangerous. This is an ongoing investigation, so any questions related to the criminal nature of this case will not be answered at this time. What about his history? I do not have that information at this time. What, can you tell us about who made the call and, and what happened at the home? So the, the home is the mother of Samantha. Um, I do not know anything else besides that, of who, who made the initial phone call. I, I do not know that. I, I just know that they were held at gunpoint. I don't know who was the call taker. Any known medical conditions that you're worried about for the boy No, not at this time. Can you tell us anything about another child that you found? We, we've only confirmed that we just won the one-year-old at this time, Zayden. No other children. There wasn't another child who was left in the home behind. I was only uh, just, oh, yeah, just Zayden. Do you know if she has any other children? I do not know. Well, can you tell us about the relationship between the suspect I just know that she was his ex-girlfriend. Um, they have obviously this the one son together. I don't know their history of the relationship at this time. Did they get an altercation earlier in the day between the two? Can you elaborate on it? I, we haven't been told that information. They're still gathering it. Okay, who found the car um, and how was it found? I don't know who found the vehicle, but there are multiple agencies involved, including um, FBI, um, Pueblo Police Department, Colorado Springs, um, and Colorado State Patrol. So it could have been a number of one of those people. Earlier, I think somebody said they were talking about them going maybe toward Trinidad. Did they have, was he a family down in Trinidad or Pueblo or something like that? I don't know. That, that came in as a tip. That's where they're probably headed, but I don't know the reasoning behind it. All right, not a lot of new information. This is a live press conference from Adams County Sheriff's Department about the Amber Alert that we all got on our phone uh, this afternoon. Uh, really nothing more than we said at the top. Um, that right now they're looking for a one-and-a-half-year-old. She's calling him Zayden. We have his name is Zahid Adams. His mom, 26-year-old Samantha Adams, she says they were taken by her ex-boyfriend this morning at gunpoint from her home in Commerce City. His name is Mauricio Venzer Gonzalez. Uh, they have found the car, and that's still where we are. No sign of that little boy. Liz Gilardi is on this story for us and is in that neighborhood where they were taken. Liz? And Shannon, you heard them asking for the public's help. This is actually the mother's house where they were abducted from the mother of the woman that is missing. Now, crime scene tape is up around this house here in Commerce City, and we've seen police going in and out. We were also told by a family member that a child was found inside tied up. It looks like police have not confirmed that information at that point, but that's what a family member and a neighbor are telling us. It happened around 1130 this morning, prompting an amber alert and we know the car a gray Honda was recovered in Pueblo inside the city limits. They found that car, but as you said, 
No one was inside. You just heard police say they are canvassing the area. That's what we're hearing right now, working to see if they can get any additional information. The Adams County Sheriff's Department says the ex-boyfriend Mauricio Venzo Gonzalez abducted them at gunpoint and family members telling me today that they fear for the lives of the mom and that little boy. We know the suspect is considered to be armed and dangerous. And again, tonight there is a statewide search and Amber Alert for this missing mom and one year old boy. The car was recovered in Pueblo. No sign of them. Reporting live in Commerce City, Liz Gilardi, Denver 7. Liz Gilardi on the Amber Alert. Thanks, Liz.